Hello everyone and this is the 16th Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News and today is Saturday December 20th year 2008 and the current time right now is 9.29 p.m. Eastern Time. Now first before we talk anything, talk about anything else, I want to talk about the 17th Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News, the next Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News. I'm not really sure when it's going to be yet. It's either going to be on Thursday, Christmas Day, Thursday, December 25th, or the day after Christmas, Friday, December 26th. Okay, it's either going to be on Christmas Day, December 25th, with, I don't know how well you can see here, with you, my cousin Adriana from up north of Massachusetts, because um, Christmas Day is at the Matt's Weather Studio this year, like it is usually every year, and my cousin will be here, so... We just might do the 17th Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News on Christmas Day, and she'll be right here in the Matt's Weather Studio for the first time for a video on Christmas Day. She just might be. However, if we don't do the Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News on Christmas Day with my cousin, we'll do it on Friday, the day after Christmas. Okay, let me run down that for you again. Christmas Day. We just might do the 17th Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News with my cousin Adriana. Okay, because Christmas Day is here at the Matt's Weather Studio. And she'll be here, and we might just have her on the show in the Matt's Weather Studio for the first time. However, if we don't, if we don't, we will have the 17th Matt's Weather Weekly Weather News on Friday, the day after Christmas, without my cousin here. Okay, and now we're going to talk about winter storm number two for this very wintry weekend. Don't pay attention to the monitor. There's nothing on there you're supposed to be looking at. That's all for me right now. Um, we're going to talk about winter storm number two, which is going to be coming in for tomorrow. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the forecast for Sunday. Then I'm going to explain to you how exactly this storm is going to work. Okay, Sunday. Actually, listen to this. Tonight, snow increasing before dawn. Lows ranging between 14 and, and 22 degrees. Then on Sunday, snow in the morning. Snow may mix or change to sleet and freezing rain during the afternoon. Possibly all rain along the coast becoming windy by the evening. A high of 30 degrees tomorrow on Sunday. Okay, so basically, when you wake up tomorrow morning, snowflakes should be falling from the sky. Depending on when you get up, that is. If you get up, you know, later and not 8 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Basically, just about the whole state should be waking up to snowflakes flying from the sky. Okay, and then as the day wears on, it's going to continue on snowing. Uh, however, come afternoon, mid-afternoon, the snow may mix or change to sleet or freezing rain. You know, the snow may mix with sleet or freezing rain mid-afternoon. And then um, the immediate coastal sections of the state, it is possible that this is an all-rain event or it starts off as snow and then it changes over to all-rain come the af afternoon time. Okay? And then, of course, the storm's all going to wind down by tomorrow evening. And then that could, you know, pose for a pretty messy Monday morning commute. Uh, for a very short week because this is holiday week. We have Hanukkah and Christmas this week. We'll give you the rest of the 7 day forecast in just a second. But yeah, so it could leave a little bit of a mess on the roads, you know. Um, some stuff that, you know, all the, some, the wet roads and, you know, some snow and sleet and slush that's been left on the roads overnight. You know, you might wake up Monday morning, you'll see some of that on your road. It'll be all slippery and slick out Monday morning. So it is possible that there's a bit of a mess on the roads Monday morning. So take it slow, Monday morning, give yourself some extra time, and it is possible maybe some schools will throw in 90 minute delays tomorrow for Monday. And of course, if you have, if you have to go out tonight or tomorrow at any time, take it slow because, you know, it, allow for some extra time. And if you don't have to go out, stay home, just stay in your nice warm houses, keep checking back to my website. You know, stay on the computer, watch TV, have fun. But don't go anywhere tomorrow if you don't have to, you know. Just stay on the safe, safe side. 
even though this storm is not going to be nearly as bad as winter storm Austin was yesterday. Okay, now I'm going to give you the forecast for the rest of the week. Monday, which I believe is the first night of Hanukkah, partly sunny with a chance for a flurry, windy and cold, a high of 27 degrees. Tuesday, mostly sunny, then increasing cloudiness. During the afternoon, a high of 30 degrees. Wednesday, which is Christmas Eve, cloudy with periods of rain, possibly some freezing rain early in the morning, a high of 39 degrees on Christmas Eve. Okay, so some freezing rain in the morning on Christmas Eve, however, that shouldn't be such a huge problem for Christmas Eve, because Christmas Eve is more in the evening. And then Wednesday, or Thursday, Christmas Day, a mix of clouds and sun, but dry for Christmas Day, a high of 42 degrees. Friday, mostly cloudy with a chance for rain showers in the afternoon and evening, a high of 39 degrees. And on Saturday, mostly cloudy and mild, showers developing through the day, highs ranging between 41 and 50 degrees next Saturday. Okay, we are skipping the TV history segment this week because of, you know, everything that I needed to talk about and get through today. Um, we're not going to have a TV history segment next week because, like I said, we might have my lovely cousin on the show. And even if we don't and we do the Mass Weather Weekly Weather News on the Friday, I'm still not going to do the TV history segment. So, however, when we do the 18th Mass Weather Weekly Weather News on Friday, January 2nd, year 2009, the first Mass Weather Weekly Weather News of year 2009, the new year, I will do the final TV history segment ever. It will be a special edition. It will be um, about TV, digital readiness tests and everything. We'll get you ready for the digital conversion day on February 17th of year 2009. Okay. And then, of course, in the coming weeks after that, we'll come up with something to replace the TV history segment on the Mass Weather Weekly Weather News. Okay, now we're going to move on to the one news story we have today, and then we'll be done. Okay, stay digs out from Storm Austin and prepares for more tomorrow. Residents continue to dig out from the winter storm from the snow winter storm Austin dumped on the state Friday while preparing for another dose on Sunday. The storm brought 12 to, uh, 7 to 12 inches of snow to the state and at times on Friday was falling at about 1 to 2 inches an hour. The storm continued to bring light snow to parts of the state Saturday morning. State police said despite the efforts to keep drivers off the roads, they investigated 328 crashes by Saturday night. They said in 42 of those crashes, people were injured. Okay, we thank you for watching. We'll see you either on Christmas Day with my cousin right here in this studio. And we might even have a few other family members come in and be on the show if we do it on Christmas Day. So we'll either see you then or the day after Christmas for the 17th Mets with the Weekly Weather News. And again, I know this is all very confusing to you. So, if you have any questions, please email me, the one at AOL.com. I don't plan on doing any videos tomorrow. You know, I don't plan on any video coverage tomorrow just because I've been doing videos like crazy. And sometimes, you know, it gets kind of hard for me to do lots and lots and lots of videos. It's a lot of work for me. So, what I'm going to do is keep checking back to my website, which is http colon slash slash early morning sailing weather dot blocks by dot com. I'll be posting updates through the day tomorrow. And it's not that I'm just trying to take the easy way out and just throw a post on my website and not do videos. It's because I really don't think videos, a lot of videos are necessary tomorrow because it's not really going to be all that bad. So, but however, I will keep you up to date with maybe one or two posts through the day tomorrow. Okay, so keep checking back there to my website. Um, for more on that tomorrow. We'll see ya.